Okay, good morning to everybody and uh, Baruch Hashem. So we began yesterday, we were going through the sugis of of, uh, of Nachla. We saw that the Torah's order of Nachla is not the actual order of Nachla. That the na natural order, of, according to the Torah, is son, daughter, brother, uncle, and no mention of father. And according to the Torah Shabbat Peh, well, we have two mentions of father. Either She'eru is the father, and not only She'eru the father, but he would come after the son and daughter in the pecking order. Right? According to the Rabbi Shmuel, Ba'avartem, is we're going to jump over, the girl jumps. Who does the girl jump? She jumps the father. So you see that, so we have the Maskana, the order of of, uh, of Nachla was son, daughter, father, brother, uncle. Uncle. That was that was the maskan that we had. We got into the sugya of Mishpacha, that only the Mishpacha from we said the mother, it says Sha'iro is could be the mother. So let's say that the, the right you in, that the mother inherits the son. So we said that only Mishpacha. Mishpacha is only the male, only the male gender, only the parent, you go after the paternal side, not the maternal side. The Gemara asks the Chayra we have from the Misa of of of, uh, of of Micha. We started on the outskirts, we saw a little bit of Pesel Micha. I didn't give much of a gave a very obscure shot, but basically it's a, it's a person who who uh, his mother had Micha stole money from his mother. He went ahead and and, and and he returned it. She was so happy. She gave the money, made a pestle, and Micha and this person shows up, and Micha's excited, and he's a levy from Yehuda. So we concluded if he's a levy, if if he's a levy from Yehuda, it must be that you're going after the mishpacha of the mother. It must be his, he's from Sheva Levi, and his mother was from Yehuda. It must be Sheva Levi, and his mother was from from Yehuda. That must be the case. So we said no. We said his name was Levi, and he was what from his name was Levi, and he's from what he's from he's from Yehuda. So Yilchayra, Yilchayra is all from Yehuda, and his name was Levi. He wasn't a Levi at all. We said, what are you talking about? I can say it wasn't a Levi. At, at the conclusion of Pesel Micha, we see how excited that Micha was to have hired a Levi, Yehonasan ben Gershim ben Menashe. So we said, just like, and really, in fact, it was Yehonasan was the son, grandson of Moshe Rabbeinu. And therefore, he was a real Levi, but he's called from Menashe. So you see that he's called from Menashe because he did Maisa Menashe of Avoy the Zara. And therefore, Yehuda, Menashe came from Yehuda. So who are then? It's, all, it's one, one shave, but it's Levi. And, it, and that the allusion to Yehuda was the allusion to Menashe, who was what from Shevet Yehuda. But we haven't proven that what, that the mother's side at all has what to do and when it comes to inheritance, that has nothing to do with that. So, um, let's start from one, two, three, four, five, six lines up on Kuf Tess on the base. Six lines up, Kuf Tess on the base. Omer Belaza, Loilam Yadbik Adam Betoivim. A person should check into the Mishpacha. Uh, you should look into the good parts. Shahari Moshe, Shinasu Bas Yisro. We did this yesterday, I'm sorry. Okay, we we did this yesterday. We're on the Omer Aleph, Kuf Yod Omer Aleph. We said Yisro Tut Stadim, a side of Yosef, a side of. Uh, a side of of Yosef, the side of Yisro. Okay. Shmang Amarava, where Kuf Yud, one of the four lines down. Amarava. I know you say Isha, if a person marry, gets married, you should check your wife, you should check the brother. Your wife, you should check the brother. You want to get married, you want to know what your kids are going to be like, check the brother. Shinemar. Ayikach Aranes Elisheva, Basami Nadav, Achos Nachshon. Who did Aaron marry? Elisheva, the sister, the daughter of Aminadav, the sister of Nachshon. Now, why are you mentioning the sister of Nachshon? Once you tell me that she was the daughter of Aminadav, any Nachshon he isn't it obvious that she must be the sister of Nachshon? So why do you mention that why she was the sister of Nachshon? Achas Nachshon Mikan when you get married, you should look at the mother's brother. So Aaron got married. He looked at the mother's brother. He looked at El 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 Elisheva. And who did he see? He saw Nachshon. So you get an idea of what it's going to be like. Tana, Roiv Bonim Doimim La Achia Aim. Roiv Bonim are similar to Achia Aim. Roiv Bonim go after Achia Aim. That you want to know what your kids are going to be like, you look at your mother's brother. 
So I saw, guys, a fascinating, a fascinating uh, marsha. I'm going to read it to you inside. <laughs> I, I was blown away. Why is it that what? Why is it that? Says the Marsha. Kia Achim Bachoyos and Nolden the Betin Echad, brothers and sisters that are born from the same womb, Kroivim the Teva Shava. They crave him to the same Teva. They come from the same source. They're coming from the same womb. So they have the same similarities in nature. The Ho'ubur and the baby, Yerech Imoy. The baby is considered the what? The Yerech of the mother. In other words, the baby is considered a piece of the mother. Ki Iker Gufa Adam Noit Imoy. Because the, the main part of a person is formed from the mother. Ulechain, Hu Al Piroiv Beteva, Achia Aim, Letoiv Olamutiv. So in other words, guys, it's a fat, fabulous shot. A sister and brother are, are, are same in nature. Why are they same in nature? Because they come from the same womb. Now the mother gets married. So you have the father's input and you have the mother. But ubi yerachimai. So the main part comes from the mother. And since the mother had been in the same womb as the father, as a, as a brother, Mamela, the part that comes from her is going to be similar to what? To her brother, who had been in the same womb at the time. It's a fabulous understanding of why 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 I, I always say over and my mother had a brother my uncle Irving my mother had an older brother um he was uh he went to the war he was in the Navy in World War II and he was not religious after the war he, he and he was uh, it was a tremendous angst to my grandmother and 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 but she never gave up she used to say Irving, maybe it could be a little from a, it was, it was really amazing. Anyway, the, her relationship, he, I didn't see him often. I can't tell you, I can't say, I, I didn't see him often. I felt this tremendous love for him and I had a tremendous, tremendous relationship with him. And, and, and as I got older and, and I, I was able to drive, I used to go out to his house to speak to him and we had nothing in common whatsoever, except that he was my mother's brother. And I, I, I remember very distinctly this, this unbelievable feeling. And not only that, it transferred to my son Simcha. My son Simcha had this love for Uncle Irving, and Uncle Irving loved him more than he loved his own grandchildren. So you see that this, 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 the, the familiar of the Achea aim really, really does exist. At least, at least I experienced it. There's just a natural feeling of love for my mother's brother. They share the same womb. And Mela, it, it passed down to me this love for my uncle, who had been in the same womb as my mother. It's, it's a, I think it was something I never understood until I saw this marshal, I saw this marshal the other day. As, as I was preparing on, on Yom Kippur, I said it was a nice thing to see on Yom Kippur. It was a very, uh, it was a good wake up call. It was a very, very gishmaka Maharsha. Lace, okay. lace, yeah. So why not the sister? Huh? Why not the sister? What? What? Most sons go after sisters. No, no, I'm saying, but, but why not the sister? She's in the room also. Of course, she, he's a male. bonim It's a male, right? It's a male. You want to go after the male, male part, right? The sister, right? And understand it. Maybe the sister does go after the sister, but it says, you know, that would make sense, right? We're matching up males. Okay. So, says the, so now we're continuing on discussing Pesel Micha. Now, what happened was, just to fill in, so Micha finds this person, this lady, Hona's son, he's so as excited as anything. Comes along, shave it done, fellas. This is out, out, I, didn't, I didn't speak to that yesterday. Shave it done was, uh, they were not happy with their Nachla. They were all the way in the north. They weren't happy with it. And they were searching for what? They were searching for what? For, uh, for more, an, an expanse of land. They end up meeting up with coming to Micha, and they meet this guy. They ask, we're going to see the Gemara, what they, their expressions were. They couldn't believe that Moshe's grandson ended up being a, 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 a a climber to avoid the Zahra. But the bottom line is, they asked for his bracha, they took men, they were matzliach, and they moved up there, and they took him along with it. And and Shevet Don, for all time, became associated with Pesel Micha, as, as what associated with avoid the Zahra. Don, Don had a, a reputation as being from the lowest, low, lowest Shvatim because of this reason. So now, we're picking it up over here in the dialogue between the Shevet Don and the uh, and and um, and and the uh, Yehonasan. It says by Yasuru, 
and they said to him, they turned there, who brought you here? What are you doing? Why is there to you here? So this allusion, this is the passage, this is the conversation, and in this conversation, we're going to have an allusion to Moshe Rabbeinu. So again, one clause, second clause, a third clause. Amrulai, they said to Yehonah's son, "Love me, Moshe Kosis. Aren't you? Aren't you like related to that great man? <laughs> aren't you like related to the greatest person in the history of the world?" al tikrav haloim. So they asked him, guys, that's the delusion. Mi haviacha haloim. The word haloim, or is that allusion to Moshe? It says by the sne al tikrav haloim. Love me, Moshe Kosis. Dechsiv b'ze mazeh biyodecha. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, "But the stick, what's in your hand?" And he, they said to him, "Ma ata oisa b'ze." So my lashon of b'ze. La mi Moshe kaosis dechsiv be ve ata oy oymer imadi. And it says, "O malacha po." So we have the allusion to po, ze, and haloim working backwards as an allusion, as an allusion to Moshe. The lashon of the question that Bnei Don asked Micha, uh, not Micha, asked the Yehonah's son, right? So he answered them. Told them, a person should rent himself out to avoid the Zara. So he took it very, very literally. Be, listen, I needed the money. I got a great salary. He offered me a great salary. And therefore, I became a, a coin to avoid the Zara. However, the Husavar Yehonasan took it literally. La void zara mamish. The lohi, that's not what Moshe meant. El avoid the zara, la avoid the shezara loy. Right? A person should rent himself out to an avoid the zara that's zara to him. In other words, if you need parnasa, and let's say hypothetically you're a world's expert in, in the vision therapy, right? And, and and things are tough, you should go ahead and become a a, a lift driver. Hey, you know, you know, whatever, right? Just go ahead, go ahead. You know, do an avoid the shezara loy, not avoid the zara, but avoid the shezara loy, right? It should be an avoid the that zara to him. That's what that's what he meant. So he took it literally. And why should he mean it that way? An example: Kid the Amale, as Rav told Rav Kahana, he told him, "Nitoish nevelta b'shuka, go ahead and skin an avail in the street." Ushakal Agra and, and take and take your take your uh, wages. Vlaitema Gavra Rabana. Don't say you're a great, great person, the zeal of Milsa. Don't don't say it's above you. When it comes to Parnasa, do anything to go ahead and put food on the table. Kivan Shara. Now, so this is so now we have so he said, listen, okay, now listen to this. This is Bimei Shaiftim. Now, exactly when it took place at the beginning of the Shaiftim and the Shaiftim is a big question. However, He's alive at the time of David Amelech. Kivin Shira David Shemamin Chavavulav Yaiser. Since David saw this person Yainus and loved so, money so much that he became a Chaimet Avayd Zara, Mineu Ala Oitzrois. He put him in charge of the treasury. Shenemar Ushuel Ben Gershin Ben, and it says Menashe, but it means Moshe. Ushuel Ben Gershin Ben Menashe Nugget Ala Oitzrois. He was he was the head of the of the. Of the of the treasury, if he Shmuel Shmo was his name Shmuel, but Lo Yehonasan Shmo his name was Yehonasan. El Amar B'Yochanan Shmuel Sheshov Lekel B'Chol Kocho he returned to Hakadosh Baruch Hu with all his kaiches. So again, he had a love for money, and it's, it's funny David nurtured it in a positive way by going ahead. I, the same thing with David, guys. David was was uh, when Shmuel saw David, he said, "This can't be the king. He's a murderer." But you know, David took a head and, and he used his kaiches. The, he only killed with the consent of the Sanhedrin. He used it to go ahead and, and obliterate uh, all, the, all the enemies of Kal Yisrael. So too over here, I, I'm saying chat that David understood a, a, a nature of a person and he, 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 he subjugated it and he turned it into a, a very positive way. He loved money. He kept him around money. The Gemara doesn't say this here, but it's a Yalkut Shemoni. The Gemara says, Kaimel uh, Lavoy de Zara. The Tarach Yom Kol Kach. He was he was a a, a priest of Avodah Zara, and he lived so long. So the Medrash tells us the Medrash in the Yalkut says that 
he was cheap to the Abayi Zara guys. In other words, he knew it was a gig. <laughs> he didn't believe in the Abayi Zara. So a guy would come along to Micha with a big fat ox. He'd say, he doesn't need this. He can't eat this. Give him a chicken. You know, I'm, in other words, he was very cheap to the Abayi Zara. He belittled it. And the Mela, since he was cheap to the Abayi Zara, Hashem gave him a Rikas Yomim, and Ad Kedekach, he was Chayis of Etshuva. Mestam Awad, in the Schus of Awad, his Zayda. Mestam in, in the Schus of the Zayda. Again, this is a good thing to remember. By Yakim Ulehem B'nai Don Es Apostel, and B'nai Don, again, they 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 took the Pesel Micha, the Yehonus and Gershon Ben Menashe, who were born of Ha Yekahan, and the Shevet Adon, he had young goals, they were the Kahanim. Menashe, guys, right, if he's Zoycha, the Nun is, stays up, and he's Moshe. If he's not Zoycha, we hide it, and we say he's Ben Menashe. That's the reason it's written that way. That's the reason it's written that way. Okay? So that's the... Good, but good. Nice, nice little uh, digression, as always. And, and it's wonderful, right? A lot, lot of bloggable stuff, too. Okay, so anyway. Um, continue on the Gemara. I just, I just wanted to, what I was referring to yesterday was, was by Korah, where Moshe didn't want his name associated going back the generations to, so that they wouldn't put him together with Korah. Yaakov, you mean Yaakov. Yaakov, Yaakov. Right, right. It, 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 it's it's shorts. Uh, it's shorts out. If you look at the Birchus, Birchus Yaakov, Rashi brings that in the, by, by, it stops. Right? Uh, my name shouldn't be mentioned. So therefore, it stops by Korach, it shouldn't be mentioned. It was recorded by Moshe also. That's why it said Menashe. Put the, put the Nun there. Uh, yeah, Moshe doesn't say that. I think the, the, I think the, 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 the Navi, I think, who wrote Shoftim? I think, who wrote Shoftim? Shmuel, no? Who wrote Shoftim? Right, so Shmuel must have hit it. Again, it's 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 a chazal. Okay, he must he must have hit it. Okay, let's. Okay, v'abonim v'abonim Okay, we said that the the who goes first in our picking order. Who goes first? First goes Mark. Goes the. So the Gemara is going to go through again. The beginning of the of the Nachlois, and the Gemara says, "Rabban Mesaav Minolon." How do you know that what the, the sun comes first? The Chsiv, as the pasuk says, we saw we saw yesterday. And if he has no son, then it should go over to his daughter. Okay, so what do we darshan? Right, Taima the Ein Loi Ben. The reason why it goes to the daughter is because what there's no son. If there's a son, he would go first. So again, this is this is uh, this is first base. We're talking first base. Now the mother wants to know. If there's a son, the son inherits. If there's only a bas, the bas should inherit. In other words, how do you know that the son comes before the daughter? Maybe if there's only a son, him, only a daughter, daughter, but what if they're both there and the half of me in the Gemara is that neither one inherits? Fred the Gemara, the Ella, on the base, the Ella man, who's going to, man, Leroy, who's going to go and inherit? Is it going to be what the, the Rashi says, the Moshe of the city? He's going to go ahead and inherit that. That makes no sense. Of course, of course, why should the fact that one of them, that they're both there, impede their inheritance? It doesn't make any sense. So the Gemara says, you're right. Hachi Kamina. Our Papa says, this is what I meant. Ika ben ubas loy hai liyoris kula. Loy hai liyoris kula. Neither one could go ahead and inherit alone. In other words, we know that if there's a son and a daughter, the son gets and the daughter doesn't. We know if there's a son and a daughter, the son takes precedent. How do you know that? Maybe what? Maybe they, they're equal. Maybe they neither one takes more than the other. Maybe they both get simultaneously. So Amalia Abaya says to Abaya, if that's the case, the Israel Krol Ashminon, Hecha de Lesley, Elachad Bra, Lersinu Lakulai, Nixi. Would you need what? A pasuk to tell me, right? You're telling me that, you know what? Uben ain't loy. But if there's a ben, the ben gets. Meaning, if there's a ben alone, he gets. 
I need a pasuk to tell me that? It's a svara like that. Obviously, it must be telling me what? That even though there's a bas, the ben alone gets. Again, the way you're saying it is, if they're both in the world, they both get. So what would the pasuk be telling me then? The pasuk would be telling me, you know what? If, you know, when it says a ben inherits, you know when a ben inherits? When there's only a son. Why do I need a pasuk to tell me that? It's pasuk. It's Pashid. He should be the, he's the only game in town. Elama, it must be that even if there's a daughter, he gets. It must be even a daughter, only he gets. Says the Gemara, Vidilma Hokamash Balon, the Bas Nami Bas Yerushahi. Maybe the Chidish is to teach me that what? That the Bas is a Bas Yerusha. In Ochinami, you might think that what? Mishpacha Se'aim, Mishpacha Se'aim, and maybe they don't have the, the, the Parsha of Yerusha, right? But, but in fact, what? In fact, they are, they are, in fact, they're what? There is, they're, they're in the parsha. Says the Gemara, Hahu Mikol Bas Yereshes Nachlon Nafka. That we know from Mikol Bas Yereshes Nachlon. That we know from there. Okay, guys, I'd like to go down a little bit. Venir Be'inite is a very, very, very long, very long Rashbam here who tells you a Peshat that he doesn't like. And here's the Peshat he does like. Right before it gets wide, three, li three lines up. Again, this is going to explain the dialogue that we just had. I'm going to go back and stick it in. In other words, she's in the ballpark just like he is. I would think a daughter doesn't inherit at all. Neither. You know why? The whole Yerusha depends upon males and not females. So I would think that what? She doesn't get it all. Like the Pasuk, Pasukim we've been hacking, and you should give the Nachla to the his uncles. Because of Nami, so when you go ahead and, and you look at the Pasik and you look at the Parsha, what? Oh, I, no, I don't want to look at this Parsha. I want to look at this Parsha. Okay, so we want, we want to look at this Parsha, right? So in this Parsha, what are we told? It's all the Lashon of Zacha. Who are you giving it to? You're giving it to the uncles. The main Achim Aviv, there's no uncles. Love from his from the male Mishpacha. So I would think that a girl is totally out of the parsha. I would think that what? She's not in the parsha of Yerusha at all. Continues Rashbam. The Hilkach. Ki Ika Ben Nami Tiflug. When there's a son, she would divide with him. Where are you going to go ahead one and be Memaira from? Right. right. Once you tell me that she's in the ballpark, she wouldn't be simultaneously in the ballpark with him. In other words, without the Torah mentioning Bas, I would think she's not there at all. Because the whole Kakpada is the male. Oh, Vavartem El Nachlase El Bitoi. Now that you mentioned the daughter, when you put her in the parsha, why don't we put her in all the way? Equate her with the brother. Equate her with her, her, her brother, with the Ben, right? Why not? Once you're putting her in, don't limit her to after the son, right? After her brother. Put her in with the brother. Right? There's, he doesn't have a, a, a son to inherit with the daughter. She gets the whole thing. Then we'll allow it to go to another shevet. Because when she gets married, we know it's going to go to another shevet. Because when she dies, her sons will get it. When there's a ben with her, the nachla is not going to go, go over to another shevet. And we should the us, us, the Krolash Minon, Kidarebi. And therefore, since they wanted to tell me the din of Rebbe, 
I want to tell me the dinner of, of Rebbe that it, going from Mat, from one Shevet to another Shevet, it could have said together, Bino Ubito. In other words, if you want, he's asking Kasha, if it, you meant it's supposed to be there simultaneously, it should say the Nachla should go to Bino Ubito. Right? Let's let's look at the, the Pasuk. What's this funny Lashen? If you want to tell me that they inherit simultaneously, say the following. Right? They give it to the Ben Ubas. Why is this is to warn you that what? That if she's going to get it alone, it's going to go. That's But she does get. You're telling me that what? That she does. That's the Havamina of the Gemara. That's the Havamina of the Gemara. Rashmam is explaining the Havamina of the Gemara. That where a bet, since you think she's not in the Parsha, once you put her in the Parsha, she should be in the Parsha totally. I, if she should be in the Parsha totally, put them together, Beno Ubito, then you will know the Chiddush of Bahavartim that it's going to go ahead and pass over. So on that, the Gemara answers no. I don't need this Parsha to tell me that. I have that from. Mikol Bas Yoreshes Nachlas Nafka continues the Rashbam guys. The Mine Shaminon the Bas Yoreshes Kol Nichsi Avia. We know there's a separate pasuk to teach me that a daughter inherits. I don't know the Avartim as Nachlas, so I don't need the Lashon Avora Nachlas Lebito. I don't need this parsha to tell me that. I have a se- another pasuk that tells me that. The pasuk says openly. It says that what Mikol Bas Yoreshes Nachla. That's in that's in Lamed Vav, not in Chav Gimel. That's in Lamed Vav. Okay. Says the Rashbam, the Minosha mean in the Basi Rashes called Nixi Avia, Kileka Ben Bahada, when there's no Ben there. The Bibas Beloy Ben Mairi, that's speaking about a daughter alone. The Loshana Akran Shepirashti Shaminon, that what? Mios, the Bas Yesh and Bachal Yerusha. We hear that a Bas is Nakal Yerusha. The Havimasi Lemichta of Ishki Yamos Vizera Engloy, when the Satan is Nachlasai, Laafim. It could have said if a man dies, has no seed, and then gives the Nachl to his brothers, La Yisrich Ben Engloy. In other words, <laughs> Gemara is asking, how do I know a Ben inherits a loan from this parsha? Maybe the fact that what well, you needed to tell me the daughter in the parsha that she inherits just the same as him. I why don't you put them together? Because you need the chiddush of avartem. Good. Need the chiddush of them That that nachla goes over there. But in achinami, they inherit together. Fred the Gemara says, says the Gemara. So why does it say them ain't like it's mashma that a ben comes first? Ben comes first, right? So the the Gemara the Gemara says that. Well, maybe I need this parsha to teach me that she's in the parsha. Now, once you're putting her in the parsha, she's no different than the ben. Once you're putting in the parsha, she's no different than the ben. And they should get simultaneously. Says the Gemara, I don't need the parsha for that because I have a pasuk. The pasuk says, Mikol Basi Yereshes Nachla. So I know from that. So if I know she gets a Yerusha from Bamid Balamid Vav, the whole reason for this parsha is to teach me that the sun goes first. That's the limit. So Uben Einloi is teaching me, Uben Einloi, that if there's a Ben, he gets first. And you don't need this parsha to teach me that what that a Bas gets because I know that from somewhere else. And the male, the whole parsha is coming to teach me that the ben gets first. That's the whole purpose of this gemara to ascertain that the ben gets before the daughter. They don't get simultaneously. This is going to stay, fellas. We're going to have a few more attempts to, for different sources. We're going to have questions on those different sources, but ultimately, this is the source that what the son gets without the daughter. Rav Acha Bar Yaakov Mama Mehacha. Here's Rav Acha Bar Yaakov's source that what that a son gets. That a son gets without the without the daughter. If there's a son, he gets before, excuse me, before the daughter. I mean, before his sister. They they, they come with a tiny to Moshe, and what do they say? Lama yigora shame avinu mitoch mishpachtoi. Why should my father's name be less than his brother's? Ki ein lay ben just because he didn't have a son. Now, what do you mean? Just because he didn't have a son, perish, time of day lay ben. Ha yesh lay ben, ha ben kaidim. In other words, the Nostafkar are, are, are saying, why should he lose because he has no son? Meaning, had he had a son, we wouldn't be here, right? If we had a son, we won't be here because we, no, we have no claim. 
because the son would come before us. That just because my father did not have a son, should he lose out? So you see from their taina that what? That a ben gets without the bas. Gemara answers beautifully. The Dilma ben Slavchat, who the Ka'amrin Hachi. Guys, the Pusik that we have over here. Rabbi Avi is going to like this. This Pusik comes after their claim. In other words, this Pasha is already after Beno Slavchat came along and said, Why should we lose? Correct? Meaning, this Pasha of Benin Lo comes after Beno Slavchat. It wasn't before Beno Slavchad. It was after Beno Slavchad. When Beno Slavchad talked, they were saying what they thought. They weren't saying the reality. They're saying it makes sense to us that there would be a, if there was a son, he'd get before us. But you can't learn Allah from that because this pasuk comes after them. Right? Guys, you hear? It's, it's fascinating. So the Gemara says, <laughs> No, no, no. So they, this is a conversation. First of all, Ramban doesn't hold from it. Second of all, it's a doichik ad ma'od. And therefore, this goes, this Rabbi Avi, Moshe didn't know the halacha. This parsha that I showed you is Moshe's coming to go ahead and if their claim, it is ain't, ain't lousy much, much better than this. Because this is, they had a claim and Moshe didn't know what the answer is. And now Kodesh Baruch is telling me the answer. How can you say ain't much, much better, right? Makes no sense. So, so you hear they tining what they thought. And now HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going ahead and in a chinami. But you can't learn from them. You can't learn from them. That's what the that's what the Gemara's tiny is. Says the Gemara, the Dilma B'nai Slavchad, who the Ka'amen Hachi. That's what they that's what they thought. However, Nit in the Torah, Niskat Shalacha. Then the Torah was given, and Allahcha, Ben Eng is Machadish. El Mechabata Kedashina Meikara. The correct answer is Ben Einloi. You cannot learn from Blais Tzavchad. Again, what's our mission? To figure out that a son gets without the daughter. You cannot go ahead and figure that out without you know, Slavchad. It has to be a Ben Einloi. Next, another attempt. Ravina Amar Mehacha. Ravina says from here. It says, Unisatim es nachlasoi l'sha'eroi hakara ve'lo. Right? This is this passage. We do have. Unisata Unisatim es nachlasoi the she'eru akarve love. You should give them his nachla to the relative akarve love mimishpachtoi. That's you should give him. That's the closest one. Okay, that's the one you should give the closest what relative. That's the one who gets. Says the Gemara, shakarav karav kaidem. Whoever is the closest to the father gets. Umay kurva de ba de ben mi bas. Obviously, you're saying a son is closer to a father than a daughter. A car of car of what? Why is he closer? Right? She ben kon tachas of a When it comes to yud, right? The omevriya who marries the father, and if not the father, then the son. Ule stay achusa. And regarding stay achusa, if the son is part of the stay achusa, it does not go to the kanam yoyvel. If a daughter will be part of the stay achusa, it would go to the kanam yoyvel. Now be aware, guys. Yesterday we had the same gemara about a brother. And we said the brother, right? And we said the it's two reasons over here. It's Yud and and and, and Yibum. And the answer is that Yibum is 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 a non-player. Yibum is the whole reason for Steyachuza. The reason why the son is Steyachuza is because of what is because of of is, is Yibum. Well, you know, and we said that so therefore that wasn't a Mila. The whole Mila was Yud. Okay, says so the Gemara. So uh so, lechayra. <clears throat> what's the kurva? What's the closeness of the the son more than the daughter? What's the closest the son more than the daughter? Is because two reasons. Liyado l'steachusa. Says the Gemara. the Gemara. Yada bas lav bas yadahi. She can't marry another woman, right? So there's no, no yud. Steachusa nami yabaruch yeh yavarai baruch. Stay a chuzanami, stay a chuz as well. May high pircha kufa, who the kaimala, Latana, klum yeshibum, el bamakam sheim bas. Stay a chuza, guys, what's the reason? Right? Is is the is yibum. The, the bas has the same koyach of the ben, right? The bas has the same koyach of the ben as what? 
in the Indian Yibum. It would stop the Yibum process, right? So, well, Omat, it's you, you see over here. So the, therefore, the girl has nothing over the son. Son has yield. The girl does not have have, have that. The mela, that's the kurva. So therefore, what? But we slugged it up, right? You want a taina that what fell is that the son is closer because of yield. Guys, look at me. You want to say the son is closer because he has yield and stay achuzah. He has neither. Yield is not a mila because the girl is not in the parsha. Stay achuzah is not a mila because the reason he has stay achuzah is because the limit from yibum. A girl has that same thing. She stops the brother, the father, the dead father, the, the brother-in-law can't go ahead and be miyabing. So in Mela, there is no Mela of the son over the daughter when it comes to Korva. So the reason must be, right? Not like you, Ravina, but the reason like, Uben ain't like. So we slugged up, and I slugged and we slugged up. This is the reason we wanted to say what? Because the son is closer. In fact, the son is not any closer. Viba is Ema. Another way to show that why wow, that um, a son comes before a daughter, it says regarding the inheriting of of uh, of uh, an evet kanani. You should go ahead and you bequeath them, right? You bequeath them to who your sons. It doesn't say you bequeath them lizarachem to your children. It says you bequeath them to your sons, achrechem that come after you. Good. So Lechaira, you have a source. Yerusha is what? Who gets the Evid Kanaini? Only the sons and not the daughters. So you see that what? That a son inherits without the daughter. It doesn't say to your children. It says it says that's the diak. If you're going to make such a diak, when it comes to mezuzah, it says you're going to say a, a woman doesn't have to put up a mezuzah? It says, well, a bracha shiny, it's a bracha. You'll have a rich, put up a mezuzah, you have a rich as yomim. So therefore, it, it applies to a lot of females as well. But this nachaltem l'choyri is a good raya. So you have two sources, yeshloi, and you have, and it's nachaltem, as l'vanechem, but, okay? So therefore, you have l'choyri, you have what? You have, you have a good raya, to the son comes before the daughter. It says, v'achim min av noichlin manchilin, he says, uh, brothers, paternal brothers, they inherit and they bequeath. Minalon, Amaraba, Asya, Achva, Achma, Bnei Yaakov. In other words, how do you know paternal brothers, guys, are not maternal brothers? How do you know paternal brothers are not maternal brothers? So it's Achva, Achma, Bnei Yaakov. Ma'ala, Halon, Mina, Avaloi, Mina, Aim. Just like over there, the Yaakov's bro brothers were all brothers from the same father because they had different mothers. So... Afkan, so too over here, which is Yibum, mina avaloi mina aim. That paternity goes only a, 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 a brother from the same father can be, uh, be miyabim. But Lamali, why do I need this pasik? It says, his mishpacha and he'll inherit. Mishpachas av kruya mishpacha, mishpachas aim ain't a kruya mishpacha. So why do I, I need another limit for the chayra? You have a first limit, mishpacha. How, how do you know only the brother? Because the the parsha itself. In other words, within the parsha of 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 Nachla itself, guys, here's the parsha of Nachla, which we're looking at for the umpteenth time. It says, "Mishpach toy v'yarish I saw mishpach toy hid from him and not from her." Says the Gemara, "Einachinami v'chiyit madura Raba." When there was Rabbis, then apply to leinian yibum it malad. As I told you, it's speaking leinian yibum that only a paternal brother could do yibum and not a maternal brother can do evil.